Hey guys, G.I. Joe here. Welcome back to my bunker here in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you watch my latest video, you know that one of the projects I am up to is my Japan uh, custom piece box. And I am proud to say that I have completed it as of today. Well, I say completed. It's uh, I have one final stage to do, and that is I need to let the paint dry, lightly sand it with uh, some sandpaper, and add the polyurethane coat to protect the paint but nonetheless you get to see what the final product looks like so uh, let's go and I'll show you my last few stages of taping it and painting it and let you see uh, what it looks like all right all right guys uh, here we are I am about to do my final stage which is painting my rising sun on and what I did was I made a pattern I took a plate, I kind of decided where center is. This is 16 inches, so I put uh, eight, eight in the middle, right dab in the middle, used a plate to kind of get a, a good circle. And then I used these, sorry, this one fell off. I then decided, I did one at a time, I decided where I wanted a ray on the left side. And so, well, let's use the right side since it's, sorry about that. So I decided how high I wanted to come up, right? And then I decided a starting point, okay? And I cut a piece of paper and then I flipped it over, traced it on another piece and cut it. That way this side is the exact mirror. And I did the same thing. I decided where I wanted this piece, right? I got it the width and all that kind of stuff that I wanted, where I wanted it to start, flipped it over, drew it on another piece of paper, and I have the mirror image of it. I put on that side. That way it's exactly equal. And I did that with this, and then of course this I just centered. This is uh, two inches wide, and right dab smack in the middle is uh, the one inch mark, which is eight, which is center of my box, okay? So then I taped all of this onto here very slowly and carefully. And then I went and taped in between all of these with the yellow tape, which is the frog tape I use, which is, I got this at Home Depot. See right there, frog tape. And I carefully put, I went really slow, put it on there. And then what I did here in the middle is I took my little uh, thing and I, I, I did kind of freehand it, but I went really slow and kind of went along that nice and easy so that when I pulled this off, I got my rising sun. Now, then I went around and I taped the edge of the boxes because I don't want I don't want the, the rays bleeding over to the sides and the back. I guess I could have done that, but I guess that would have gone a little cool. But uh so ideally what will happen in a perfect world is I'll put the spray paint on here, and by the way, the spray paint I'm using is Right here from Home Depot, it's the same series that I use on my pieces. Satin Paprika, make sure it's satin, not gloss. I'll spray that, kind of a light coat, about something like this right here. And then I peel off the tape, and voila, I've got my rays and my sun. So, uh, I think the rays are gonna be good. What, I have, what I'm doing now is I'm going on and making sure that all these little corners are down so that no, no paint gets up underneath my, uh, my frog tape. And then I'll spray it and pull the tape off and see what happens. Okay, I've just put on the application. Again, the paint I used was Home Depot, the Rust-Oleum Paprika Satin Finish, not the gloss. And I did some tests before I did this and I caked the, the paint on, it was really, really, really dark. And I didn't like it, so this is what I want. I want something not so thick, uh, and I, th I think I've achieved that. So we'll let this sit for about five minutes. And I'm just kind of looking here to make sure I don't see any white areas coming through. I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, maybe a little bit at the very bottom there, that's, that's gonna be tough. Maybe a spot right there, whoops. So I might hit that spot just a little bit. This is the tape that I'm gonna pull, peel off. So that will leave me my white from the box. So let this dry for about five minutes. And with any luck, when I peel it off, 
hopefully the lines will be that crisp. Wish me luck. It's a little bit light at the bottom, but I'm hoping when I put the poly on there, that'll kind of give it a cool effect, you know? It's not perfectly even spray, but I guess I could spray a little bit more over, over here in this corner or something. Okay, it's dried a little bit, about five minutes or so. I'm gonna peel this off for the reveal, and I'll be honest with you, I'm too nervous to do this while I'm actually filming. So uh, I'm gonna peel. I'm gonna stop the video camera, the video. I'm gonna peel off, and then I'll come back. Fingers crossed, guys. Wish me luck. Well, we have a semi-final product here. I'm about to show you my Japanese box. Tape has been peeled off. I do have one step remaining, and that is I need to lightly sand with about a thousand grip sandpaper with my hand and um, then weather it. But here is the reveal. Insert Japanese music here. And there we go. Wow, I'm, uh, I'm very, very pleased with this. Now, when you look at different angles, it looks like it's askew or off, but when you're, it's not. When you're looking at it straight on, it is symmetrical. Like I said, when I, when I cut the piece for this, and I decided what, I, what, si what size I wanted, I went ahead and then laid this piece on another piece of paper, traced it out, cut it, and it was the mirror image of this. So these are all mirror images, at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, that one's just by itself. So uh, again, the paint I used was uh, Paprika from um, Home Depot, and it is satin finish. And so let's take a look, okay, this box a little bit more so. Now I decided to stop with the rays and not have them continue around the edges because I like the clean look at that. I like how it just stops. And uh, I thought it might be overwhelming if rays were too much, you know, or, or everywhere, it might be a little bit too much. So coming down, look out here, stops here, coming around, and you see the back nice, clean, and crisp. And how I did that, if you remember, I put a piece of that frog tape along the back and made sure the edge was perfectly, you had to go really slow to tape this and uh, make sure it was perfectly on the edge. And so that's beautiful. Now, let's do an open reveal here. So, um, taking this off, boom. And you can see that the tape on the edges, of course, let me put this back in here. You know, with me wrapping the sun or over the box, you can see that I've got it on the lip, the edge of the box, right? You see that? So that when I take the lid off, you get this nice cool effect, okay? Now, if you notice right here, what I did was this box right here, hold on. The box has a little bit of gap, you know, it's, it's really hard getting this to fit perfectly, but yet not be too tight. So when I saw this gap, um, I didn't want any red bleeding into the box. So what I did was I took the frog tape and I simply laid the frog tape across here and across there, right? So I, I filled in just two pieces, one there, one there like this. And so it gave this really cool effect. I, there's a little bit of a bleed here. What I should have done was put some tape. I should have put the tape up against the lip, but I can live with that for right now. You know, this is, this is a prototype, but I'm very happy with the prototype. So, um, but like I said, this will be weathered. This will be weathered. Whoops. And uh, it will, you know, I'm gonna sand it a little bit so that'll lighten this red up a little bit and then uh, I'll weather this and it'll look, uh, you know, a little bit aged, kind of like this a little bit. Give it a little bit of a, more of an off-white kind of look, which I think would look fantastic. So there you have it guys, the box reveal. And uh, let's put a few pieces in here, let you see what that looks like. Actually, you know what? 
I'm gonna get off this clip, put a few pieces in here and come back, okay? All right, we're back, got this thing loaded up with some pieces, let's take a look. Lift off the lid, nice and easy. And there you got starting income. I put this little, I was gonna try to put it to where the money was sat flat, but I realized I didn't have enough space to get my fingers around. So I came up with this little 45 degree angle wedge, that way I can just grab a lip, push up with my thumb, grab the money out what I need. Of course you see I got my Air Force tray, got my land, ground units tray, my Navy, my cards, my roundels, and then boom, gameplay, you stick the cards there. So there you have it, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this. I'm very, very pleased. And uh, so what's my next step? Like I said, I need to weather this. And this was my prototype to see if this was worth going into other uh, boxes, making other bo boxes for other nations. And I think it's a definite. So I'll definitely be making some boxes for the other nations. And uh, won't be starting on that till after the tournament here in about three weeks. So um, stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching.